Do self-help books really work? I decided to do this video because if you're the type of person who would watch a video like this, you've probably read at least one self-help book. And you may be wondering, do these things actually work? In this video, I'm gonna go over with you some of the common mistakes that I have made and other people make with self-help books and how you could make the books work for you. I started with a self-help thing 22 years ago after I graduated college and became a realtor. For some reason, I remember distinctly sitting in a chair at an open house reading How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I knew I needed to read some books because what I needed to not learn was not taught in school or in realtor school. After reading that book, I thought, hey, I learned some things here. Then I went on to read more books. And then I met a friend who was into self-help and he was listening to Earl Nightingale tapes and of course, Tony Robbins tapes. So I started listening to those as well. And I had this idea in my mind that I am going to learn hard instead of work hard. The mistake I made, and I think the mistake that a lot of people make, is by treating self-help books as a shortcut to success. I was spending a lot of time reading those books and listening to those tapes, thinking this is the recipe to become successful in business and in life. And it's really only part of the equation. You can't just read the books and become successful. You have to actually put in the work. Even if you just want to become happy. If you've ever read any one of the happiness books, a good one anyway, they always have exercises in there that you need to do in order to become happy. For example, meditation, exercise, writing down in a journal, having a gratitude list, you have to do these things each and every day if you truly want to become happy. You can't just read the book and go on your merry way. The second mistake people make when it comes to self-help books is they go from book to book to book thinking if they could just find the right book, if they could just go to the right seminar, if they could just listen to the right guru, everything will change. This is not true. The reality is there's only about a handful of essential books you need to read in order to become successful. And a lot of the books after that just sort of repeat themselves from those essential books. The third mistake people make, and I am definitely guilty of this one, is people will read a self-help book, think it's a really good book, think they have everything figured out, will tell everybody they know about this self-help book, and then something goes wrong in their lives, and they just go all the way back down, mood and everything else back to before they even read the book. And they start thinking, that book's no good. Or even further, self-help books don't work at all. They don't do anything. Look, I'm back to where I was before they stop reading and go back to watching TV, whatever they were doing, until later on they decide to try again with the next book. Here's how to get the most out of self-help books. Start off with one of the handful of essential books, read the book, go out, take action, fail, or succeed, but most likely your first time out you're going to fail. Go back to the book, figure out where you failed, then go out in the world again, take action, fail or succeed, go back to the book, see where you failed or succeeded, and you do that over and over and over again until you get it right. Because you learn a lot more from your failures and successes than you ever will from a book, but it's great to start off with a book because it'll definitely shortcut your route to success. When it comes to self-help, for me, it's always been 1.2 steps forward and then one step back. It's not even two steps forward, one step back. It's just been that gradual. For that reason, if I look at myself last month or a few months ago, or even sometimes a year ago, I don't see that much improvement. 
because it's been so gradual. But when I think about my five years ago, Jason, that Jason would have quit on this YouTube channel. I've been doing two videos a week for quite some time now, and I haven't really blown up at all. And I know that five years ago, Jason would say, this is too hard. I don't have what it takes. And I have those thoughts quite often, actually, but yet I keep on going. Because I know that if I just keep on going, getting better, I'm getting better slowly. If I am getting better on these videos, I can feel it. Eventually, I will make it. Have you made any of the same mistakes that I have made with self-help books? Do you have any other suggestions on how to get the most out of these books? If so, please leave a comment in the comment section. I would really love to hear from you. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.